Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're looking at Psalm 136, this great praise uh, psalm that every verse has His mercy endures forever. Some versions translate that His steadfast love endures forever. The psalmist begins with creation, but first he acknowledges who God is. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, Jehovah, Yahweh, for He is good. Oh, give thanks to Elohim, the God of gods, for His mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to Adonai, the Lord of lords. There is no God like our God. Now remember, Psalm 136 is a companion psalm to 135. It was in Psalm 135 that he talked about the idols of the nations around them. They... I, their idols had mouths, but they could not speak. They had ears, but they could not hear. They had mouths, but they could not speak. They had feet sometimes, but could not walk. Their idols were literally nothing more than a piece of wood. Their gods that they worshiped could do nothing because they were nothing. But the God of heaven is the God of glory. He is the one who made all things. And that's why he goes into Genesis chapter 1, verse 4 now. To him who alone does great wonders for his mercy endures forever. To him who by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy endures forever. To him who laid out the earth above the waters for his mercy endures forever. To him who made great lights for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the stars to rule by night, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, we are not only thankful that he is God, the God of God, the Lord of lords, the King of all creation, but he is also the creator who out of nothing spoke everything into existence. Oh, the wonders of his creation. And that's why he says to him who by wisdom, God had the wisdom to plan his creation and the purpose for everything in that creation. Can you imagine even the crops have to cross-pollinate? God had that in his mind and in his plan from eternity past when he did that. And then he had the power to create it. And the power was his word. He spoke, Genesis 1, the world and the universe into existence. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. My friend, if you can believe the first verse of the Bible, you can believe anything else in the Bible. That comes by faith. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 through 3. Through faith we understand how he did that. That's the only way we understand it. Not by figuring it out scientifically, because he did it beyond science. He is God. Oh, what a God we have. And then he goes now to the history of Israel in verse 10. To him who struck Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endures forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever, with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, for his mercy endures forever. Well, it wasn't long at, until after creation that Adam and Eve sinned, and sin brought death and destruction and pain and violence and corruption to all mankind. And God knew man needed a redeemer. And so he prepared a nation, the nation of Israel, as you go through the book of Genesis and come to the book of Exodus. And in Exodus, we have the exit, the exodus of the people out of Egypt. The nation of Israel is born, who's going to give us the Savior, who's going to give us the Word of God, who is going to show us by faith you can know the one and the true and the living God. And what did he do? He is the redeemer. Not only is he the creator, he's the redeemer. He redeems his people. He brought them out. And my friend, we have a redeemer and his name is Jesus Christ. He went to the cross. He paid the price. He brought us out of the slavery of sin and he sets us free to serve Him and to live for Him and to do what we ought to do instead of what we want to do that sometimes, most times, brings disruption and hurt into our lives. Oh, what a great God we have. Why? His mercy endures forever. And I'm so thankful for that. I think about that often when I read this verse, this chapter. Oh, I'm so glad God has patience with me and doesn't give up 
because His mercy endures forever. God bless you, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.